time for our real estate monthly update. Hello, I hope that you had a good uh, Thanksgiving and enjoyed your time with family and friends. We are going to talk about October uh, real estate market update. I'm going to do a really quick screen share here about this one. As you know, this whole past year, we've been looking at month to month to see if we notice any trends that were happening what we were seeing that was consistently happening in the past is that the average and median home price was continuing to climb. That is true uh, once again. The only difference that we see this time is that new listings and pendings and closings have gone down just a little bit, not significantly to really worry about anything. Same is true in Buncombe County, as well as um, Henderson County, City of Henderson. So what well, we're going to look at things a little bit different. I was thinking, all right, October really didn't express what's going on uh, in November with the higher interest rate and the clamp that we saw a little bit in that. So let's just look at some trending though. Decided to look at our special focus area. <clears throat> Barnersville is 35 to 45 minutes from downtown Asheville. Historically, there's not been a lot of listings out in this area at any one given time. This is sort of an extreme of large homes with large tracts of land, farmland, or uh, just small homes that need to be rehabbed. So we're comparing uh, October 21 to October 22. Last year, there was only one new listing, but this year we had four listings. Last year, there's only one pending. We had two pendings. The medium home price wasn't even in there for last year. Uh, due to the lack of closings that we had, but it was 265 for this year. And the month supply is 3.8. So what this tells us is those areas that are about 45 minutes from the greater Asheville area are starting to increase with some listings. And um, they're, so that means that their monthly supply is uh, beginning to grow out in that area, which in turn means that this could be a lower price point across the board in those areas for uh, buyers to move uh, into. So let me close, stop sharing on this one and look at the other report. As uh, uh, on my blog, I will have uh, a lot of PDFs, a lot of information, so you'll be able to follow through with that. Okay, I wanted to get the other item here to... Oh, not the right one. Okay, uh, going back here, thank you for your patience. Going back to a screen share. Looking at a different, little different report, uh, still same information coming off of our MLS, just gathered and uh, presented in a little bit different format. Uh, this is a at a glance for Buncombe County. We had, just so you know, 46 more new listings overall in the market than it took off for uh, being under contract. So basically that means that houses are staying on the market a little bit longer, which adds to our inventory per month.
the medium uh, days on the market went up a little bit and the uh, inventory, as we said, went up because there were less that were pending per month. Our average sale price, the average is the highest and the lowest in Buncombe County was 551. Oh, wow, guys, that was 21,000 <laughs> more than what it was last October. So this trend of seeing our prices go higher uh, each month is a little disconcerting of where it will be at a point that only people that are um, our service workers or a part of our affordable uh, housing projects will be way out 45 minutes from uh, Asheville. So I wanted to get right here. The new listings decreased a little bit, but prices are not going down. So that means that it's still essentially a seller's market as October. We will see what happens in November, though, to see if that trend continues. Looking at from October 2021 was the red until October 2022, our average and our medium uh, sell price. Our averages can pop. Uh, peak a little more because they're just sort of throwing out back in the summer process to see what people are willing to pay for. But the medium is uh, a better indicator for us. And so it was still from one year, it was at 44,000. Uh, it's a big jump, guys. Big appreciation if you bought in there. Uh, and Contract to close. Again, we peaked out in the summer and then a little bit down. The ones that sell the best are under 300. And then the next group is in the five to 600 range. Cash, we look at cash closings. Um, in October, eh, you know, we had a trend still at. at October didn't peak out with cash closing. I'd be interested to see if cash closings are more in November. All right. So the big question is, is what's going to happen? Well, we don't know. We have no idea what's going to happen. Um, Trend-wise, though, in the greater Asheville area, our housing supply is still very limited and the prices of housing continues to go up. I don't think we're gonna see a huge increase in the inventory anytime soon, so that will continue to make the house prices go up. There will be some slowdown among first-time homeowners and uh, maybe retirees wanting to stay in their house and less willing to move out now because of the higher interest rate for them. But people are still moving here. They're still buying here. So sellers, good time to put it on the market. Uh, less competition in the winter, so that's actually a better time to list. Buyers, here's the deal, buyers. If you want to live here in this area, just buy. You need to buy. The market, the prices of the houses are not going to go significantly down. They might go five to seven uh, hundred, five to seven thousand down per area of 100000 that you're looking for. But if an increase of an interest rate 1% could offset $10,000, just buy it now. And then if the interest rate goes lower, uh, refinance. So that's the tip of the day. If you have any questions or you'd like to have help with buying or selling, please be sure to Call us at 828-279-6723 or email info at lovethegreen.org. Have a great day.